What up, everybody? Let's talk about American Horror Story Season 7. I think it is Episode 7. So this is American Horror Story Cult episode seven. All right, this is going to be very short and very sweet, guys. Um, this episode was really an episode about Leah Dunham. It did not move the story forward in any type of way. It was actually kind of disappointing to find out that Kai is still in control of everything because it makes it no fun to watch. I mean, these last two episodes really going to have to have a quick breakdown of Kai, okay, before for all of this to come together in 10 episodes. Is it 10 or is it more than 10? Because I just don't see it ending in two episodes. They got a lot of shit to wrap up in the last two episodes so this week was the coolest part about this week's episode was that it was about things that already that have happened in real life so Valerie Salinas was a real person she did write a manifesto called scum she did want to kill all the men on the planet she did shoot what's his name Andy Warhol but she did not kill him in the show she killed him in the in real life she didn't kill him he died in the 80s she did die in obscurity she did die they said when they found her bodies it was papers all around her body all those parts of the story were true and it was kind of interesting that they highlighted this person but whenever I see Leah Dunham play somebody all I see is Leah Dunham I can't see anybody else um she's not a good actor and the way that she played it was almost funny I don't know if it was even supposed to be funny but it looked funny and it made the shit look like it really was unreal I mean it is you know I mean if you write a play call up your ass I mean <laughs> and she really did guys <laughs> kind of funny just the way that Leah plays it I just couldn't see anybody but Leah Dunham and I didn't even watch girls I know that she's problematic and she just get on my nerves generally irritating as a person with that whole Odell Beckham situation so like I just my skin was itching like the whole episode so it's not that I don't like her it's just that I don't like her you know what I'm saying yeah it was that whole plot line and we we got to see BB Balenciaga from Coven but I thought BB would be more down for the girls and not be in with Kai but BB has gotten all these girls together and they formed this pact against Kai because they feel like they're getting rid of him for the man agenda. This is all spurred by Beverly who BB approached first to kind of get her on board. So Beverly is upset about Meadow. She's upset about Kai and you know putting her out basically. The circle of power. So she's getting all the girls together and the girls are going to get together against him but real tea is Kai is in control of BB so this whole point the point of all this is kind of lost on me because it's kind of like he's in control of that group so we went through this whole episode and we find out at the end of the episode that Kai is control is in control of everything that's going on so you know, the story with Valerie Salinas was cute. I mean, basically, she wrote the manifesto. She had fans. She wanted to go and kill all the men in the world. So they decided that they was going to start with coupling. So they're trying to sell us on the idea that they were the Zodiac killer. That's why they never found out who he was. Some random guy started taking credit and giving all the details. That was one of the dudes that they allowed to be in the group. And they killed him, child. She just went further and further into kookiness. And people started leaving the cult. And BB was like her lover, her girlfriend. So she was like the one who stayed but she finally left as well and Valerie died in obscurity you know with papers all around and she saw a vision of Andy Warhol dead Andy Warhol and she hits her head and she dies like I said some parts of that is true some parts of it are not true that's basically the story we got for Leah Dunham it was the Leah Dunham episode so I don't want to hear what you guys think um like I said it didn't really give us much in the way of story because we did not see Allie this episode but we did see that she's in custody but she's not saying anything about what happened that day they got the video the video does show Meadow shooting everybody and not her so we at least know that she ain't gonna go to prison well she might they might try to put in with the conspiracy but I don't know I guess we'll see what happens with that so that's really all we got in the way of story I know I'm probably forgetting something because I didn't take any notes not one drop so I'm pretty sure I'm probably missing something or forgetting something that you guys are going to remind me of. So I want to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said on my scandal video, my videos this week will probably be late because I have to attend the funeral for my family member on Friday. And so I'm leaving town on Thursday. So I don't know if I'll be able to watch Scandal and How to Get Away with Murder on Thursday night. But I will try to get my AHS review up as quickly as I possibly can. I want to thank you guys for the support. And thank you for all the condolences I've gotten over the past few days. Y'all, the person who died was my father. So he passed away last Tuesday. Um, they He fell out of the bed and hit his head. And they the, the paramedics could not revive him. So... It was just his birthday the day before he made 66. 
So, you know, just pray for me during this tough time with my family. Like I said, I'm going to try to get the videos out as quickly as I possibly can. So I want to hear what you guys think. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, share this video with your friends and I'll see you for the next one. Peace.